I'm Michael McDonald. I'm chairman of the Nevada Republican Party. And it's a great honor to lead this party <clears throat> moving forward. You know, having the opportunity to be born and raised here in, in Las Vegas, it's given me a great perspective of people you meet. And in Las Vegas, as well as all Nevada, I would say, because we're battle born, you always have to come into, uh, across individuals who are willing to take the fight and fight for the underdog, fight for the people who don't have a voice. Anybody who's willing to stand up and tell it like it is. We've seen this time and time again with a very special woman. We saw it at the Nevada legislature. We see it on the city council. Nevada needs a true fighter. And we're lucky to have that in Michelle Fiore. Our councilwoman fights day to day to make sure that the people without a voice are heard. The less fortunate are taken care of. And to give everybody an opportunity in these trying times, a hand up, not a hand out, and calling out the people who commit the wrongs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce this morning our councilwoman, Michelle Fiore. Thank you guys for coming here. Um, all of you, or most of you, have um, covered me with great interest in my many, many, many political fights and battles. And most of you know me as a fighter. And when I fight, I fight hard. When I fought for our Second Amendment, the Washington Post called me a gun-toting calendar girl. When I fought for the Republican ticket in 2016, Political Magazine wrote, the lady is a Trump. I want to explain to you why I fight. Because there's a lot of elected officials that don't open their mouth when their constituents call them and they're about to lose their job because they refuse to take the vaccine. I fight for those people who don't want to take the vaccine, an unconstitutional mandate, who want to keep their job, but are getting fired from colleges, from hospitals. Now we're having police and fire mandate. Our city is not mandating them. I fight for our students who get a mask taped on their face. I fight for our teachers who are being strangled by their unions. And I fight for our small businesses, who so many went bankrupt in this shutdown and are still struggling today. I want to introduce you to some of the people that I fight for here in Nevada. One thing I can promise you is I will never stop fighting. I will never stop fighting for our police, our first responders. I will be in people's faces when they try to shoot our police. 
I will call out terrorist organizations. My name is Michelle Fiore, and I am running for governor. Right now, we have Republican elected officials across the country congratulating themselves working with Pelosi and the Biden administration. That isn't me. You'll never hear me do that. And if you want that, vote for one of my primary opponents. I will ban critical race theory in our schools day one. I will ban mandated vaccines that same day. And we will audit the 2020 election. I was raised by a single mother in New York City. All right, all right. <laughs> I moved to Nevada in the early 90s. I became the CEO of a construction company. I was the first female Republican majority leader in Nevada Assembly. I'm a councilwoman now. And I moved here because I believed in the West anything was possible if you work hard and have courage. But if we lose it now, we will lose Nevada and what we knew of Nevada and how we grew up here and what we came here for. This campaign will be a fight every day starting today. And I'm not going to stop fighting. I'm not going to stop fighting for the people. I thank you for coming here. And that is my announcement. Go, Michelle!